I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. I love it! Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This weekend I'm in South Philadelphia working on a new weekender challenge. It's the first time we're actually tackling a home gym. The homeowners have a two-year-old daughter and a baby on the way, and they said the only way that they even remotely have a chance of working out is if they do it at home. They have the basics of a home gym, but they'd really like to take it up a few notches, layer in tons of style, and have all the amenities of a real gym, but at home. So this is our basement. Okay. And Got a home gym. Yeah. So the basement's actually a lot bigger than it looked in photos. We try to come here two or three times a week. We have a little daughter and another one coming. Yes. So we have some toys that we just threw it in here for her to play. So she plays in here while we are exercising. I'm sure it's hard to get a workout in without getting interrupted, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Karen. I'm Enrique. We live in Philadelphia. We are originally from Brazil. We are really excited about this project because with one girl, Maya, and another one that is coming, we won't have time to go to the gym, so it's extremely important for us to have something at home. So you want to be able to work out here, get a full workout in, but also need to be smart about it and have something to entertain the kids as well, right? Exactly. exactly. Something that is very important for us as well is that we need a room for stretching. We have to have some like reasonable space like to either run, to warm out. I think I need to it. see this. If I'm going to like really design it for you, I kind of need to see what you're talking about here. Yeah. Drop and give me 10, okay. five, three, whatever you can give me. <laughs> okay. One. Like this. Two, three, get lower. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm also like a gym trainer. All right. I'm just hollering. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We are DIYers and most of it is due to Monica and The Weekender. We actually implemented a lot of projects in our house. So we did a replica of one of Monica's doors and we did a replica of one of her flooring and bathroom. So we're just excited to learn more about new techniques. The biggest thing that I want to talk to you about kind of involves our first project. I would like to remove your carpet. Okay. How do you feel about that? I mean, we don't, we're not crazy about this carpet. Carpet is not ideal in a gym. What I was thinking is we'll put in a really nice wood laminate flooring down here that has a nice pad underneath it. We'll even do an underlayment as well. That'll be easy to clean up. You can wipe it down. It'll be much more sanitary since this is truly going to be a gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're excited to see Okay, that. good. I, I was a little stressed <laughs> about telling you that, but I'm good. I'm glad that you're okay with it because this carpet isn't in bad condition. It's just not the appropriate flooring yeah. for how you want to use we're this space. We are not crazy about it. Either. This week Again, though, you will be helping me with the heavy lifting okay. and you can totally still be involved but you're gonna be doing all the heavy lifting okay. with me. So we need to get all the kids toys out of here, move the equipment and then we'll rip this carpet out. By the end of this weekend I'm gonna create kind of a vintage retro vibe gym that works perfectly for this growing family. So we're gonna remove this carpet. Have you ever removed carpet before? First time. First time, okay. The trick to it is to pre-cut and work in strips. It comes up way easier than you think. So I will pre-cut and then Matt will start pulling it out. You can help him with that. And then we have to remove the tack strip along the edge. That's kind of the pain in the butt. And that's why you have the hammer and the pry bar. That means you get to do that job. Okay. It's the least fun. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> So now we're just gonna roll it up, and since this is a home gym, everything is a race. Go! <laughs> oh, oh! Enrique, that is the worst <laughs> job I've ever seen! <laughs> Now that we've got the carpet up, I want to get a quick base coat on the wall because I've got a cool paint technique planned, but the wall needs to be completely dry first. So we are gonna focus on the flooring project and I'm ready to show you, you wanna see it? Yes. Okay, so down here I have a couple pieces of it. This is the underside of it. 
So you can see it has a pad on it. That is one of the reasons I chose it, because it's already going to give you some cushioning. And that's what it looks like. Wow. It's beautiful. It has a nice texture, right? Yeah, it does have a nice texture to it. But I chose it specifically for this space because, first of all, it's way better than carpet. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so much easier to clean and, like, no like sweat is going to be on that carpet. That's kind of freaking me out. Also, I chose it because it's super easy to install. Show them how it's done. Super yeah. easy. Yeah, it's just a click and lock. Click wow. and lock. It looks very simple. <laughs> really simple. The first step in this install is to lay our moisture barrier down. Since this is a concrete floor in a basement, this is a necessary step. It's as simple as laying it flat, cutting it to size, and joining it together. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start off with a full length board. This one's one third, and this one is two thirds, and we're gonna install them like this. And that's gonna make sure that we stagger our seams. Like I said, this floor is super easy to install. Just click and lock. To cut, we're just using a circular saw. All right, back to that cool paint treatment I mentioned earlier. To add a little style and fun, I'm going to create some symmetrical stripes on the wall. The idea here is to do a block of five different colored stripes and run them around the whole space about two thirds up the wall. I've got a level line that I'm working off of for the top stripe and using painter's tape on that line. Then I'll run 10 more tape lines directly underneath. The key is to make sure to press the tape firmly onto the wall so I get clean, crisp paint lines. My plan is to have the base coat color show in between each color stripe. So I'm pulling off every other tape line. Each one I pull off will get its own new color. I chose a fun combo of colors to add a little whimsy to the space. So our first project this morning, Matt's actually already prepped a bunch for us. He built us a big old storage box, nice. okay? You mentioned that you had a lot of gym, like accessories and things that you didn't want the little ones getting into. So I thought closed storage would be a really good idea. So what he's built for us is just basically a big old rectangle right now with doors on it. It's all made from like really basic plywood but I want to add a fun little element to these doors that'll make it look like a more high-end furniture piece and kind of fit with like the vintage retro gym vibe that we're going with. Beautiful. Okay, so what I want to do is make the front of these doors look like drawers. We're going to put fake faux drawer fronts all over these panels. So when you step back, it'll basically look like a card catalog with lots of different handles, but really just be the doors. So the first step will be taking this pine board and cutting it down. We need like 25 or 30 of these. So we have a lot of identical cuts to make. So I actually put a line right here so that I know exactly where I need to cut each time. So we don't have to measure 100 million times. All right, so now that we have the wood, we're gonna attach it onto the door fronts, okay? So we actually can just nail each one on with a couple nails because the hardware I'm gonna use, it's gonna hide the nails nicely for me. So like five going down, four going across. But before we can put the hardware on, we're gonna stain the piece. Okay, so I have a couple different stain colors. I'm actually gonna use two. We're gonna use the espresso and then do a final coat with the classic gray. It'll just cool the tone down. I wanna get like a bit of a vintage old look to it. So I think that combining the two will be a good idea. I didn't know you could mix them. Oh yeah, totally. I wanna cool it down with a bit of gray. This is kind of just, like I said, trial and error, we'll yeah. see. So this one is a little warmer because it's just the brown, but this guy with the gray, I think this has a better cooler tone. I don't think this would go as well as this with the colors and the accents that I planned. Okay. I'm gonna leave you to stain this. I'll come back out later, kind of finish it all up, but I have some other things I need to work on in the room. Okay. All right, for this project, we're gonna show you how to take a basic builder grade mirror and make it look custom. It's one of my favorite easy DIY project hacks and it's gonna look perfect in this gym. 
What we have here is a 36 by 60, just standard mirror. What we're going to be doing is framing out this builder grade mirror with stained pine. We've stained it with the same color as all the other wood in this space. And to start with, Matt has attached one piece of our frame down here. It's gonna act as a ledger board. The mirror is actually gonna sit directly on this lip, but we also need some serious mirror adhesive. So we're gonna put that on the back. You can pick this up at Lowe's and we're gonna apply it using a caulk gun. Don't go too crazy with the adhesive. You don't want it to bleed out along the sides. It's really hard to get off the walls. Now that we have our glue on, Matt and I are gonna lift this up together and rest it on the ledger board. So we have our ledger board cut at 45 degree angles. And now we're gonna continue with our wood going right around the mirror. So it's going to look like it has a custom built on frame. So Matt's gonna use the nail gun and we're gonna attach it directly to the wall. How much better does that look? I mean, we have custom mirrors for about half the cost of what we would have had to pay. Now, the final finishing touch to make this perfect for a home gym is to add a stretching bar. And to do that, we're gonna use a staircase railing. One of the keys if you're gonna add a stretching bar in your own home is to make sure that you're either solidly into studs or that you use really heavy duty wall anchors since you'll be putting a lot of weight on the bar. <laughs> I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Put your leg up and stretch. <laughs> cool. All right, last big project of the weekend. We're gonna finish this one up together. All right, so we saw yesterday that we're all very good at pumping weights. Okay. Um, but I wanted to come up with a really great storage option for your weights, especially one that would look kind of great in the space and keep them away from the kids' side of the room. Okay? Perfect. So we are actually gonna build a weight stand. And I did a little drawing to kind of show you what I'm imagining. So this is what we're thinking. Oh, wow, that's great. Isn't it neat? So needed. So it's going to be a very simple build. We're gonna use uh, two by sixes for this top here so it's really strong and heavy. And then these little side pegs that hold the weights are actually this black pipe, all right? So that's gonna mount on and it'll hold pretty much everything you own. That's awesome. You seem excited about yeah, this, this one. This is so neat that I'm happy that we have like a structure to separate stuff from the kids, that I can organize my weights. Next time I see you because of this, are you going to be like huge? Uh, yeah. Like you'll lift <laughs> it every yeah. single day. I'm yeah. like, I don't even recognize this yeah. guy. All right, so we have it set at 50 degrees and we're going to lift this and make our cut while it's standing on its side because we want the two angles to come together to form the angle that we want. We are going to put the triangle part together first. So now, we have our A-frame, all right? So the next step is to put it on the base, which is the two by fours. All right, so we are gonna use the same screws and they'll go straight down. We have the base of our weight station. Now we'll put on our flanges and our pipe and then we'll be all set. Cool, Perfect. is that gonna work for you? I think so. Well, it's not totally done yet. I need to put the pipe on the other side and then to finish it off, I'm gonna give it the same two-tone stain that we did on the furniture piece. So the brown, then the gray. So it'll really look like all the DIY pieces that we built kind of look custom and like they go together. Guys, at the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Wow, oh my God. My God. <laughs> it's amazing. It's completely different. Look. look it turned it. out very beautiful. So pretty, Amazing. Right? And it's so much hidden storage, and I just this love the way perfect. that turned out. And the weights, I mean, sick, it's and it beautiful. Looks cool, right? Yeah. It was cool, so very good combination with the weights and this cabinet. This is very safe, so we won't yeah. have our daughter 
carrying stuff around, so yeah. it's very secure yeah. for her. Yeah, now we can just show her in here and she plays. And, and we can go Yeah, off, we right? can go <laughs> <laughs> The colors on the wall, right? Uh, we, 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 yes, we've I never was... realized how dark it was until now. Yeah. I guess. And I know you guys wanted color, but I just felt like if we painted these walls solid, yes. that it would have just felt like a cave and really heavy. And I think when you're working out, you want light, bright, yeah. you need energy. Look at the flooring, right? And Much your bar. cleaner. And your bar. Your sketching bar. The bar. <laughs> That's perfect. And the mirror is awesome for us. So when we actually work out, it's great. You have plenty great. of space to do your Yeah, the stretches, everything on the floor. I wanted to think through everything that you would have if you had like a high-end gym membership. Yeah. So you have mirrors, mirror. you have stretching bar, you have organized awesome. weights. I mean, I really do feel like this is a pretty solid home gym. It is. So, Can I? Yes, of <laughs> course. Great, a great experience. Good. Thank Go have you. a baby. Now Thank you can have you. your baby. Well, that was quite the weekender workout. I am gonna be sore for days, but I hope you guys like this makeover just as much as I did. And you know the drill, make sure you're subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode. This weekend, I am tackling a bathroom. It just needs a major style overhaul to fit this family better. All right, you ready to get rid of these mac and cheese walls? I cannot wait to get rid of this color. Oh my <laughs> gosh, wow. Is Julia gonna freak out? I think so. <laughs>